Speaking of settings, yeah, I think uh, there's something we've been on the cusp of announcing for a little while. If you... There's been little hints here and there, Jesus. but starting in June, in June, we are going back to Call of Cthulhu, but this time we're going to be doing Cthulhu by Gaslight, which is Victorian era London. Yep. And we are going to be playing, and I could tell you about it, or can we just show them a little something about it? Sure. Check this out. Tell us what you think in chat. London is no stranger to the fog, but rather than roll in, this mist seemed to rise, thick and slow, devouring the dark alleys of Whitechapel from the bottom up. Whitechapel Dark Mist, a Cthulhu by Gaslight Mystery. Premiering July 2022. There you have it. So, thanks, John, for, for putting that together. I've been working on our White Chapel yeah. London 1890s, a few years after the whole Jack the Ripper episode, but dark, grimy streets of the poorest section of London, and that's where we're going to start our uh, Cthulhu by Gaslight, Whitechapel, Dark Mist. We mentioned it earlier. It's going to be a bit of a sandbox. Which I'm excited for. Go where you want to go. Now, there will be overarching themes stuff going on, but there is no one way to go about figuring things out or to go about addressing right. things. So. Really looking forward to getting uh, into that and putting some yeah. work into it. And we're looking, I think it was even in the little trailer, uh, starting in July. So, yeah. Um, Exciting. Any idea of uh, what kind of uh, Victorian era character you're going to play there? Put you on the spot. Yeah. This is what we were talking about streaming earlier. <laughs> you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, think, I think I was going to play a prostitute. That tracks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I'm thinking inquiry agent, but so an inquiry agent. Uh, it's like a private investigator, but for like a company or say a Pinkerton, you might be more familiar with as gotcha. a example. Right, so an investigator not aligned to the police and not out running his own private investigator shop. Yeah, I don't think that's private investigator is an option in the gaslight. Probably setting. not. It's like a independent contractor. So, like police. Sherlock Holmes, kind of. would he have been an? Uh, he would have agent? been a consulting detective. A consulting detective. <laughs> that's exactly what they called him in the books. I can't believe I fell into that. Yeah. Trap. I had thought about doing that, I but I kind of figured everybody that does the setting is probably going to have one of those. So, Cool. So an inquiry agent and maybe a prostitute. I think it's a prostitute, yeah. It's hard to tell what she does for a living. Maybe a prostitute. Maybe a prostitute. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Coming in July, and uh, we hope that uh, you guys will join us for that. Uh, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit different for us, but I think it could be cool. I, It'll be probably the first one where I felt like my editing was as good as the writing. Aw, wait. Because this time it's being written by I me. Say, and it's I like, couldn't tell that I'm was you saying crap. you're getting better or that you're <laughs> trash. No, I'm getting I better. I set the bar so low. <laughs> He's getting better at running. Everybody's getting better. That's true. I, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I'm sorry. No. It's funnier if I think you insulted him. So, you know, I'm going to stay with that one. Just because okay. that's who I am. Cool. So, Whitechapel Dark Mist starting in July. Join us. Yeah, it's going to be epic. I'm super excited. I might have a British accent by then. Probably He's not. He's been working on it. Yeah. 
<laughs> Watching like weirdo YouTube videos. With the lady pointing at the uh, BBC. <laughs> yeah. So that's one of those those uh, accents that you can try and butcher and try again and butcher some more, and you don't seem to offend anybody when you do it. Well, I, I can bring up my 23 and me that's like 99.1% British. So That's true. You can make so comments. somewhere deep in your genes. I can make fun of my previous. You might be able to find culture. that accent. Maybe. I probably not. I doubt it. <laughs> it's probably going to be real rough. Very country British. Might just be an inquiry agent that was uh, exiled from Texas. So. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboy inquiry agent. <laughs> I mean, the, in contemporary literature for the time, Quincy Morris. I don't know who that is. Dracula. Oh. Bitch, I'm ain't. I'm an unread, uneducated person. So. She's seen Twilight, but I ain't did. read Dracula. Mm -hmm. I think she's in the majority, boring. not the minority I know. <laughs> today. So 